Welcome back to this series of conversations on light reading about Mobile World Congress. This is Terry Sweeney for Light Reading, and joining me now is Martin Lerner, head of global product line CloudRAN at Ericsson. Martin, thanks for joining us today. Thank you for having me. Um, 2021, as we know, was really the uh, introduction and uh, getting more familiar with the idea and the concept of, of CloudRAN and the virtualization of networks. Um, talk about how you see 2022 shaping up as uh, growth and, and, and deployment of this technology. Yeah, it's truly a fantastic momentum in the industry right now around this technology. So we see that the disaggregation between software and hardware and the cloud nativeness coming into the radio space really creates new opportunities for the network and how they will build, the operators will build their networks going forward. So we're really excited about this momentum. And I think in 22, we will see this going a little bit from where it has been today and more in an explorative phase, going into a more trial and deployment phase in the 22 timeframe. And this is where we see that the operators will start to explore and understand how they will utilize this technology together with the existing purpose-built technology. So we're truly excited about seeing this into the field and getting there, it into deployed to the network. And of course, this network has a huge demand of, of service that we deliver to, to the customers. We're really excited to see that we're also building in the performance and the security together with the scalability and the cloud nativeness brings. With so much emphasis and focus on high performance and, and scalability, um, can you talk a bit about the importance of, of working with ecosystem partners like Intel, for example? I sure can. Maybe to begin with, I'll take a step back and look at a little bit of the back and how, or where we're going. So if you look at where 5G is today, and especially if you look at the mid-band carrier today in 5G, we are consuming almost 150 times the compute capacity compared to what a regular LTE carrier is doing. And that we're doing in half of the time based on the frame structure of, of NR. So it's a really huge demand on the compute platforms that we see uh, out in the networks. And 5G being a real essential when we see the mid-band deployments coming along, now latest in the launches with US, it's extremely important that we are also capable of handling that compute in mid-band. So that's why we're super excited to work with Intel and the compute platforms that Intel is bringing to the market. Because those compute platforms are now starting to become so powerful that they can not only handle the, the easier type of deployment, but also the massive type of, of massive MIMO mid-band deployments. And with Intel's multi-generation approach to compute, we also see a very interesting journey of where we're heading with the compute platforms, being a more highly dense capacity onto the bands which believe that we can serve a significant parts of the networks going forward. So we are tru truly uh, looking forward to collaborating with our ecosystem partners such as Intel to bring this to market. Let's turn, if we could, to Mobile World Congress. Um, tell us a bit about what you're looking for there and uh, possible trends you'll be tracking. Sure, I think the first thing I, I'm looking forward to with Mobile World Congress is actually to seeing each other again in the industry. It's been two very long years, I have to say, and I'm very much looking forward to meeting both, of course, our customers, our partners, and our colleagues around the world. And when we look at CloudRun and what we're trying to achieve with CloudRun, we're really putting together a solution together with the ecosystem. And that's why a place such as Mobile World Congress is so important for us to meet the entire ecosystem and discuss where this is going and meet our partners to get the, the journey where we're heading. Then, of course, a lot has happened since last Barcelona two years ago, at least the last physical Barcelona, uh, on how we are building and how we are operating the network. So that's a space uh, I would look for uh, on the news where it comes out to the management of the network and how the networks are being built uh, together with partners around. And, and we have, of course, put together a, a, a significant booth from an Ericsson point of view. So if you have the opportunity to come down and if the pandemic allows you, uh, I, I strongly suggest you come by our booth as well and look at some of our demos. And of course, CloudRun being a very essential part of our booth this year. Thanks for that. Let's, let's go out on a, a lighter question. Um, if, uh, if you had to choose a, a single word to describe maybe your, your best hope for 2022, what, what would that be? I have to spin on that and say that the, the words I'm hoping for this year is connections. So really coming back and being able to create connections with our industry partners, our customers, the media, but also friends and family, but also connecting up the cloud ecosystem and actually getting connections and user onto the cloud system in 22. 
So I'm really hoping that Wire will be connection for this year. Mm. Well, here's to a good connection at Mobile World Congress and, and beyond. Uh, Martin, thanks for joining us today for this conversation on my reading. Thank you for having me, Terry. Thank you. We've been talking with Martin Lerner with Ericsson. This has been Terry Sweeney for Light Reading. Thank you for joining us for this. We'll see you next time.